<laughs> How do you do that? Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you guys like that little intro. Um, Aladdin has been one of my favorite cartoons um, growing up as a kid. And I'm so happy they're making a live action of it. And a friend of mine, Chris Kersey, shout out to Chris. He was the one who said, hey Nico, you should do Aladdin's Lamp. And I was like, dude, that's a freaking great idea. And so um, we, we decided to model it and I wanted to take it to the next level and that's why I wanted to put that blue smoke. So in this video I'm going to teach you guys how I did that um, and I'm going to show you guys in the slicer how to put that blue smoke in. Alright, we're also going to do the supports and all that other stuff in there. So let's go to the slicer. Alright guys, so I'm going to be printing this lamp on my super trusty CR10 S4. Um, we're just going to rotate it so that it fits perfectly on the bed like this you are not going to need a lot of supports for this um, the only issues i had was back here um so the only supports really you'll need are right here underneath this handle i'm going to want to put some supports there ah come on so down there you're going to want some supports not a lot actually so just down there underneath here I would put some as you guys can very well see I'm using simplify 3d and at the spout right here is where you're going to want to put some as well underneath there oh. you're going to want to put them there enough to hold that thing up because it angles down a little bit also inside so you want to put some right there as well after that okay what you're going to want to do is when you print it so you're going to prepare to print oh you're going to need to process um add there you go so when you try to print it what you're going to want to do is right about halfway through when it gets to about right here to this layer you're going to want to put that um, blue smoke bomb inside all right so once you put that blue smoke bomb inside it's going to print over it and that way you're going to um, be able to put it in properly because if you don't so about right here is where you want to put it in oh no not right there because that's about closed so when you get to about right there go ahead and throw that blue smoke bomb inside so that it seals it in right as it goes it's going to seal it in because if you don't put it in now you won't be able to put the smoke bomb in the the um the inside the at uh, the top won't let you and it's because it's too small so if you want to put that blue smoke effect inside i would do it here um halfway about what is that 75 percent of the way through the print all right um my bridging on my profile allows me to not put supports here um but if you want to put supports under there just to be sure i would all right so that's how you um put it on the slicer and now let's uh, go to paint all right so what I did was I put I paused the print at about this height it, it's not really specific but when you get to this height what I did was I put the gender surprise uh, smoke bomb in there because it's gonna be tough putting it in 
once the lamp is uh, is completed. So I wanted to put it in while the opening is still large enough. And then when this um, you know finishes up, it's going to be in there, and you can put that blue smoke in. All right, so it printed. The blue smoke bomb is in there. I'll see. I'll, I'll put a link of where I bought mine so you guys can get the exact same smoke, so you guys get the same exact effect. Because I like the effect that it gave. All right. So it prints. It sealed it in. All you're gonna do is take the cap off. Um, take a uh, a lighter, put it in, light it up, close it up, and then the smoke is just gonna come out of the spout. As you guys can see, this one's already been used. It's gonna it's gonna discolor the inside, but not the outside. The outside still looks good. Okay. And so it just gives it that nice, cool effect, man, of, of, of blue smoke coming out and a genie coming out. So that was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I showed my kids what it looked like, and, and, and they had a lot of fun. So that's it, man. That's basically it. This is Aladdin's lamp. The, uh, the, the file to, get the, to, to be able to print this is in my shop. Link's down below. Uh, the trailer dropped today. So go ahead and cop that, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Um, if you guys also would like uh, monthly files as a subscription, follow me on Patreon. Thank you to Patreon for hooking up with the t-shirt. Um, link to that is also down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for all your support. God bless. Peace. But there's no more smoke, Nana. This one's done. Ha, 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 ha.